Hey indie game fans, survival games can give you that intense experience of scraping by the skin of your teeth while you gather resources and craft items to survive, which can be quite a satisfying experience. So here are my top 5 upcoming survival indie games for 2019 and beyond. Special shoutout goes to The Gorgeous Among Trees, which is a wilderness survival game very much like The Long Dark, but really is quite pretty. From a relatively low stakes survival game to one which, on the surface, very much looks like Don't Starve, Artificer Signs of Magic has you crash landing on an alien planet where apparently magic is real. Use your technical, science based skills to try to unravel the secrets of magic and alchemy. The crafting system seems to be rather in-depth, with a ton of experimentation to be done, and the alien creatures in particular look terrifying. movie where the guy got stuck in one day, repeating it endlessly? So this guy is like the guy from this movie. He just woke up in a luxury condo room, and he probably didn't know that this might be one of the hardest days in his life. Strange black mist covered the city, and the world is not what it used to be. But for now, he's cocky as hell. Well, unfortunately, he died a moment later. <laughs> Killed by a nasty demon just after he left this room. Again. 2015's Sky Hill was a side scrolling roguelite taking place in a hotel where you have to scavenge everyday items and use these to fight nightmarish creatures on your way down to the first floor. To stay in the shadow. <laughs> Sequel, Sky Hill Black Mist is now a Groundhog Day survival action game where you awaken in this apartment complex and have to find your missing daughter and uncover what is happening in this world. The guy is scared as shit now. He knows he will die for sure. 
so he tries a different approach. Yep, he died again. Don't ask me what killed him. He definitely didn't see it coming. Again, this is more action-oriented, but you do have to find medical supplies to stave off the effects of the Black Mist. Seems pretty neat. Don't Starve Crossed with Factorio is the elevator pitch for Atrio The Dark World. Taking place in a cyberpunk-inspired post-apocalyptic world, capture wild creatures, bend them to your will, and automate your base as you explore this strange and creepy world. For more upcoming indie games, check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.